Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Basha and today I'll show you how to make spoon rings in three simple steps. So let's get started. I've purchased these spoons and forks in antique shops around Krakow. I was looking for the ones that have unique handles and patterns. This one, I actually found it on the street and I was so happy <laughs> because it's exactly the type I was looking for. Step one, cutting the spoon. If you want to make sure the size of your spoon ring is correct, you can measure the metal and use online ring shank calculator to figure out how much you need to cut. I will link some calculators in the description under the video. I'm going to use a saw frame with two odd saw blade to cut my spoons and a fork. In this spoon, I thought I could overlap it, that's why I'm cutting much more than I need. We'll see if it's going to look good. Step 2. Sanding and smoothing out the edges. For this you can use hand files and this one here is a coarser one that I got from a hardware store. You can also use a belt sander, it's a tool that connects to your flex shaft and because it works at a speed, it allows you to sand your metal much faster. The sanding belts are removable, so you can switch between grades. Of course, make sure you're wearing protective goggles and a mask. And here's the effect. That was super quick. Step 3. Bending the ring. Here I'm going to use a ring bending tool simply because these spoons are made with thick metal that's very hard. I would not be able to bend it by hand on a mandrel, but with a bender it's much easier. I simply start bending and I try to make sure that I'm shaping and bending the metal evenly. This is the spoon that I thought might look good overlapping, but I decided to cut off that part. I want to go for a simpler look. Here it is. Let's finish bending. Now I'm bending the part of the fork. This one is much thicker, so I will need to use a bit more strength to bend it. The ring will be for my boyfriend. All right, looks pretty good. I'm bending the last one. Okay, so I mentioned that I found this spoon on the street, right? It was such a funny and well-timed situation because that day I was in my workshop and was complaining that a specific type of spoons I wanted for this project was just not available here in Europe. There's plenty of cutlery with nice patterns in the USA, but they are not at all popular here. Therefore, they are hard to get. And then when I was getting back home and left the workshop, I saw the spoon just lying there on the sidewalk. <laughs> it was so funny and unexpected because you don't really see any spoons or trash for that matter just lying around here. <laughs> it's pretty clean. But there it was and I was just so happy. Right now you could consider these rings done. But there's one more optional bonus step I wanted to share. Polishing. If you want to give your rings a refreshed look and a nice shine, you can use a polishing motor or polishing papers to finish the surface. Here I'm using a bench polisher to quickly touch up the rings and save some time.
and now they are completely finished. Making spoon rings is always such a fun project. Have you tried making them yourself? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for tuning in. And a massive thank you to Pepe Tools for partnering with me to bring you this tutorial. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!